The stock market, wild, unpredictable, and full of opportunities, has seen some serious dips lately. But what if I told you that some of the best growth stocks, the kind that could skyrocket your portfolio, are now trading at a massive 40% discount? That's right. While others see red and panic, this could be your golden moment to invest smartly and reap huge rewards in the future. In today's video, I'm breaking down three phenomenal growth stocks that are down 40% but still have their engines revving for the long haul. These are not just any stocks, they are backed by innovation, strong fundamentals, and industries poised for explosive growth. Think of them as diamonds temporarily stuck in the rough. Here's the thing, downturns like this don't happen every day. Smart investors know that wealth isn't built by chasing trends or following the herd. It's about recognizing opportunity when others don't. The question is, will you seize it? Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll know which stocks are worth your attention, what makes them a potential steal right now, and why experts believe they have significant upside potential. And don't worry, I'll break it all down in simple, clear terms, whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started. So if you've ever felt like the stock market is too complex or intimidating, this is your chance to see how you can navigate it with confidence, and maybe even come out ahead of the pack. And hey, stick around to the end, because I'll also share a few pro tips on how to manage risk when investing in growth stocks, especially during turbulent times like these. If building wealth, seizing opportunities, and getting ahead in the market excites you, then smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's dive in. Let's turn this market dip into your next big win. Ready? Let's go! What a year 2024 has been for the markets. As of November 18th, the S&P 500 has climbed an impressive 23%, even hitting an all-time high. If this trend holds, it's shaping up to be one of the top 25 years for the index since 1928, according to Macro Trends. That's incredible news for investors. But here's the challenge. With the market soaring, finding great growth stocks that are still trading at a discount can feel nearly impossible. Most stocks are riding this bull market wave, making the task of spotting undervalued gems even tougher. Here's where things get interesting. For those willing to go beyond the headlines and dig deeper, there are still opportunities out there. Growth stocks with solid potential that, surprisingly, are still down significantly this year. And for those of you worried about risk, I'll share a few practical tips for protecting your portfolio while going after growth opportunities like these. If you're someone who wants to make smarter investing decisions and uncover hidden gems in the stock market, this is the video for you. First up on our list is Crocs. Yes, the iconic footwear brand. Now, while Crocs hasn't quite hit the 40% drop mark, it's sitting close enough that we couldn't ignore it. This is a stock that has quietly become a growth powerhouse over the last few years. Here's the kicker. Over the past three years, Crocs has seen its trailing 12-month revenue jump an impressive 76%. That's solid growth by any measure, putting it firmly in the growth stock category. While its growth outlook for 2024 is expected to be a bit more modest, there's still a lot of room for upside. What makes Crocs particularly attractive right now is its valuation. The stock trades at just seven times its earnings, a ridiculously low multiple for a company with such a strong track record of growth. This kind of valuation can be an excellent starting point for long-term investors looking for value in a pricey market. Of course, a low valuation isn't enough. The company also needs a strong management team that knows how to put its profits to good use. Fortunately, Crocs has proven it can reinvest wisely and maintain profitability, even as it continues expanding its footprint worldwide. The key reason is its strong profit margins. Crocs isn't just growing, it's doing so profitably. The management team has been making savvy moves, like repurchasing shares at attractive prices and reducing debt, which directly boosts shareholder value. In fact, just in the first three quarters of 2024, Crocs repaid a massive $248 million in debt while also spending $326 million on share buybacks. Both of these strategies, debt reduction and buybacks, are huge wins for investors. Paying down debt strengthens the company's financial position, while share buybacks make each remaining share more valuable. It's a disciplined approach that shows the management team is laser-focused on creating long-term value. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Growth. Crocs expects its full-year 2024 revenue to rise by only 3% compared to 2023. That might not sound like much, especially for growth investors looking for bigger numbers. But here's the thing. The steadiness in revenue highlights the resilience of Crocs' business, even in a competitive market. 
Combine that stability with the stock's nearly 40% drop from its 52-week high, and you have a compelling opportunity. You're looking at a company with strong fundamentals, a clear commitment to rewarding shareholders, and a proven ability to manage its growth effectively. This isn't just a trendy shoe company anymore. It's a steady performer with the potential for long-term rewards. At these prices, it's hard to overlook Crocs as a buy-worthy stock, especially for investors who value profitability and smart capital allocation. What are your thoughts on Crocs? Does its combination of strong profits, share buybacks, and debt reduction make it a buy in your eyes? Let me know in the comments below, and stay tuned because the next stock on this list is just as exciting. Next up, we have PagSeguro, a Brazilian fintech company that's making waves in the digital payment and credit services space. With its stock down 48%, it's caught the attention of savvy investors looking for value, and there's a lot to like here. Despite concerns over the Brazilian economy and increased marketing expenses, PagSeguro continues to deliver impressive results. Through the first three quarters of 2024, its revenue is up 18% compared to the same period in 2023. That's steady, robust growth in an environment where others are struggling. But here's the real standout. Profitability. Adjusting for dollars, PagSeguro posted net income of a $285 million through Q3 of 2024, an incredible 31% increase from the prior year. This isn't just a growth story, it's also a profitability story, and that combination is rare in the competitive fintech sector. Digging deeper, we see strong growth in critical metrics like total payment volume, deposits, and client numbers. These aren't just numbers. They're proof of the long-term health and expansion of PagSeguro's business model. While competitors might be spending more to keep up, PagSeguro is already leading in these areas. And let's talk valuation. PagSeguro stock trades at just six times its earnings, making it even cheaper than Crocs. For a company that's growing revenue, increasing profits, and strengthening its market position, this is a steal for investors who can look past short-term fears. Yes, there are valid concerns about the Brazilian economy and competition, but are they really enough to overshadow PagSeguro's performance? Investors may be missing the forest for the trees here. The fundamentals remain rock solid, and at these prices, this could be an excellent entry point. Bottom line, PagSeguro offers a unique mix of growth, profitability, and an unbelievably low valuation. It's a bet on long-term growth that could pay off handsomely as the market regains confidence. What do you think? Does this undervalued fintech deserve a spot in your portfolio? Let me know in the comments, and stick around for the third stock on this list. It's another exciting opportunity. Finally, let's talk about ELF Beauty, a company that's down 44%, but still holding immense potential. Unlike Crocs or PagSeguro, ELF Beauty isn't exactly cheap in terms of valuation. Even after this steep drop, its multiples are on the higher side. But here's the thing. Sometimes, the size of the opportunity can outweigh concerns about valuation, and ELF Beauty might be one of those cases. The company's strategy is simple but incredibly effective. Be the low-price leader in the cosmetics industry. With products averaging just $6, ELF Beauty undercuts its low-cost competitors, whose products average $9, and absolutely crushes prestige brands, where prices hover around $20. This aggressive pricing strategy is helping ELF Beauty gain market share faster than any of the other top 20 cosmetic brands. That's a huge achievement in a highly competitive space. And while ELF Beauty has seen incredible success domestically, its real growth potential lies in international markets. As of its most recent quarter, fiscal Q2 2025, international sales made up just 21% of its revenue but were growing at a jaw-dropping 91% year-over-year. That's a massive runway for future expansion. Despite its low price positioning, ELF Beauty is highly profitable. In the first half of its fiscal 2025, the company posted a net profit margin of 10.6%. Combining profitability with fast growth is no easy feat, but ELF Beauty is delivering on both fronts. To put it in perspective, the company generated $1.2 billion in trailing 12-month revenue. While that's impressive, it also shows that ELF Beauty is still relatively small in a massive global cosmetics market. That means it has plenty of room to keep growing at a rapid pace. Yes, its valuation might give some investors pause. But if ELF Beauty can continue executing its strategy of affordability, expanding internationally, and maintaining strong margins, today's price may look like a bargain in hindsight. ELF Beauty might not be cheap, 
but its growth story is hard to ignore. With its stock down 44% and its fundamentals strong, this could be an excellent time to consider adding ELF Beauty to your portfolio. What do you think? Does ELF Beauty's massive international growth potential and market share gains make it worth the premium? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check out the other two stocks we discussed them, Crocs and Pag Seguro. These three could be game changers for your portfolio. So guys, these are three growth stocks that are down 40% or more from 52-week highs that are worth buying right now. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow investors, and subscribe for more useful content if you haven't. Thank you for watching. We will see you in our next video.